Okay, what's up, YouTube? Uh, <clears throat> so I was browsing Reddit the other day, and I happened to see a post about SteamOS, and uh, I decided to comment on it because I've been using it or messing around with it for a while. I can't really say using it, but uh, and I commented about how it's really awesome, and I <clears throat> think it's going to be really cool when it comes out on Steam machines and that sort of thing. And I saw a comment about how someone decided they were never going to use SteamOS or get a Steam machine because Steam can't or SteamOS can't play Minecraft. <clears throat> so I decided that was completely wrong. Uh, it, SteamOS can, in fact, play Minecraft, and it's actually really simple to install and use. So I'm, this guides to show you how to install Java along with Minecraft on SteamOS. First thing you're going to want to do is go into your settings and then interface, and then enable access to the Linux, de Linux desktop. Just check that. Done, done. Exit, and then return to desktop. So that'll take you right to the desktop, but I've already set up a password, <clears throat> and that's gonna, what I'm going to use to log in. So here's the SteamOS desktop. It's just a uh, genome, which is really common on Linux, or GNOME, I guess it is. Uh, and um, it's just a really simple desktop. Basically, you just turn SteamOS into a full-fledged uh, PC desktop. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is download a few files. So with your browser, which is actually <coughs> uh, Ice Weasel, it's just, just click Activities and click Ice Weasel there. That's actually kind of a ploy on Firefox. Kind of funny. Uh, click uh, just go to java.com and then click free Java download and then download the third Linux file, Linux x64, 64-bit Java archive. Just click save file. And so while that's downloading, we're going to go ahead and also download Minecraft. So just go to minecraft.net and then download it here. And then minecraft.jar, way up at the top save file. So we can close Ice Weasel now. You're also going to want to download the script at the up at the top of the description of this video. Uh, I already have it. <clears throat> it's going to be in my downloads file. It's called installminecraft.sh. It's just a little script that I put together that is going to make the install process really, really simple for anyone who doesn't really know how to use Linux and that sort of thing. So next, we're just going to take all of our files that we just downloaded. It should be all three of these, and just drag them onto the desktop. Next up, click on Activities. We're going to want to open up the Terminal. So just type like T-E-R. It'll be the first one that pops up, Terminal. And you're going to want to have to set up a password. So just type Password, P-A-S-S-W-D, Desktop. That's the user that you're logged into right now when you're on the Steam desktop. Type that, hit enter. It's going to say enter new Unix password. You're just going to do that a couple times. I set mine as SteamOS uh, just because it's right there. I'm never going to forget about it, and it's really simple. Uh, that works. That's what I recommend doing, but you can actually set it to whatever you want. Um, so I'm not going to do that since I've already done it, and it's kind of finicky about as entering a new password. Uh, so the next thing, after you've already done that, you're going to want to enter change directory, CD, desktop with a capital D. <clears throat> Hit enter. That'll change you to the desktop directory. And then next up, you're going to want to type sudo, S-U-D-O, and then period, forward slash, install, and then you can type the first few letters and then hit tab. That's kind of a perk of the Linux terminal is that it'll auto-complete your words or whatever commands you might want to type, <clears throat> just like that. So sudo dot forward slash install minecraft.sh. It's going to launch the script that I wrote, and it's going to install Minecraft and Java really quickly. So once you hit enter, it's really going to take no time at all. Uh, you're going to also want to enter your password that you just set up. Duh. That's why you entered it. <clears throat> and go. So there we go. Done. Is that easy?
Uh, Minecraft is now installed. It should be pop up with a launcher on the desktop. Uh, a couple of files will disappear. It's just because they got moved or deleted or extracted. Uh, this file you can delete now. You don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to, but now you can launch Minecraft, uh, and it should completely work. Log in. <clears throat> There we go. I'll let that load up and we'll see actually how well it runs. All right, here we go. Like I said, I'm not really sure how well it's going to run. Let's just create a new world. Whoops. Yeah, I'm in a virtual machine, so I have to scroll down. There we go. Oh, that's not so bad. Wow, especially for being in a virtual machine. There we go. So now you have Minecraft on SteamOS or your Steam Machine, depending on when you watch this and do it. Steam Machines might already be out by then, but uh, if so, that's how to install uh, Minecraft on your Steam Machine. Have fun with it. And remember that whenever you just want to play it, just go uh, hit exit, return to desktop, and it'll stay right there on your desktop. Um, like I showed you with mine when I clicked it for the first time, you will have to enter your desktop password. Like I said, remember what you entered when you uh, created that password. Uh, so you can, have, you can change it and enter it to whatever you want. But otherwise, that's how you do it. Let's see. Mary Cows. Oh, a little laggy. I haven't played Minecraft in a while. I'm not really sure what sort of biome I'm in. It's kind of cool trees. Oh, wow, a village. The input for me is a little weird because it's on a virtual machine, so when I mouse off of the screen, it stops, it goes away from SteamOS, so like I have to keep it on the screen, which is kind of hard. I can't turn very far. Whoa, what happened here? <laughs> 